Hey, welcome everyone. It is September 2016. Another update came up for the PlayStation 4. It's 4.00. It's not a major one or anything drastic, but I still wanted to cover some of the top features. So without further ado, let's get started. First up, we have the quick menu. When you press the PlayStation button on the PS4 controller, the quick menu pops up and now it looks like this. Now you might be wondering why this is a big deal. It's a big deal because the game is still running in the background and now the quick menu is just an overlay and it does not take you completely out of the game. Now let's go through them. Close application up on top, sound slash devices, nothing new there. Pretty much the same settings. Going down you basically have the game. Uh, you can see currently playing with other sessions and then trophies again trophies is a nice touch because you don't have to back out if you were to select one of the trophies it will actually take you into the trophy menu but if you hit circle you'll come right back into the quick menu moving down you got online friends nothing new here just your friends showing up that's pretty much it moving down you got music this is interesting for those of you who have a spotify account have added control your music and it's a nice addition Next up, we got power. Again, same settings, nothing new here of interest. Then we have online status. You guys have seen this before. They just moved it into that new location. Now, customize is the one that I want to spend a little bit more time on. You select customize and you get two options, menu items and sort. Menu items, basically, you can remove and delete the entries in the quick menu. As you can see, I am checking and unchecking stuff. And in real time, the quick menu on the left, far left, is changing dynamically in real time and there I have unchecked everything and now I'm checking certain things back on that I really want to see in my quick menu so that is really nice now let's go to sort after you have made your selections in the menu items you can go ahead and move them around in any particular order that you like and that is sorting for you and just as before everything on the far left is changing in real time just a quick minor one, notifications and how they appear have changed. Now it's more of a white and gray finish as opposed to the black one that we used to have previously. Next up, the game tile menu has changed a bit. Nothing too drastic, but let's start up on top. You got start, then you got overview, hit right on the D-pad on overview. You get a bit of an expanded snapshot here. Again, nothing major, but just wanted to point that out. If you go back up and to the left, uh, down below from overview, you got trending. Nothing again new there. You guys had seen this, but just in a different layout. Then you got friends and communities, uh, and then activities, obviously, with your friends and what whether they've been playing the game or what have you. And then finally, you have the PlayStation Store and what contents and goodies are available there. Next up, we got folders. Hit start, and then you will select add to folder add to new folder and then give it a name basically in my example here I'm gonna make a folder called indie and just drop a couple of indie games in it and then you go down to select and basically put check marks next to the games that you want to put inside that folder at the end you go to the far right corner and just hit confirm then hit ok and then there you have it I have a indie folder showing two games Broforce and tabletop racing there you have it that's folders for you now if you want to delete the folder, basically it's not going to delete the games inside them. You just go hit start and then the menu pops from the right, hit delete folder. At that point the folder is gone and the games are back in their regular tiles. There's Broforce and there's Tabletop. There's also an update in your profile. Go into your profile, hit the little three ellipses or dots. Now you can change the background image at the bottom called change cover image. Select it. You get to this page, go ahead, if you've taken screenshots from different games and what have you, go ahead and select the image that you want or is to your liking. Right now, as you can see, I have a blue background in my profile, but I want to change that. So if I hit the dots, go into change cover image, I am going to go ahead and select an image from the Last of Us folder that uh, I have and I'm going to select this particular image, set it, you can zoom in and whatnot and you can also do a preview and see how it's going to look. Here's a preview. If I'm okay with the preview, I'm going to go back and hit OK. Now instead of the plain blue, I have a little bit of flavor in my profile and you'll see that background image right there. Let's talk rarity. So you go into trophies, I'm going to select The Last of Us and this is the platinum trophy that I had and Sony ended up changing their rarity 
icon or look. Now you have a pyramid and if it's ultra rare you're at the top of the pyramid, if it's rare then you're in the middle and etc etc. So they changed the iconic look of the rarity to make it more visually appealing. Another thing I want to mention about trophies is now if you compare trophies with a friend before you could not view hidden trophies, now you can. I'm not showing it on the screen, I just wanted to verbally mention it because for those of you who do want to view them, now you can. Now Sony had promised HDR compatibility not just for the upcoming PlayStation 4 Pro launch but also for existing PlayStation 4 consoles. So the way you access the HDR settings in this version update is as follows. You go under sound and screen under video output settings right there. Go ahead and go under the HDR section, read about it all you want and you can turn it on and off right there. Now let's talk library. Sony made a one minor addition in this section. Under games obviously you have games that are stored on your PlayStation 4. Under applications are the applications stored on your PS4. And now they have purchased. By purchased what Sony is referring to is all the content that you own including games, applications, demos and betas you have participated in. So that is practically all the purchased content. Now Sony's idea here is to declutter it and I'll give him you know, a little bit of credit for uh, trying to make an attempt to do that. So it's not bad. The summary here is under purchased you have all the stuff that you have owned and it's not necessarily installed on your PlayStation 4. It's also downloadable stuff that you owned at one point. Just remember that. Last but not least, the What's New section has also received a fresh coat of paint and this is how it looks now. I think it's a bit cleaner, I don't mind it. You got these big large tiles on the left and then on the on right you got Now Playing, some of the other activities like from the PlayStation Store, what's featured on there along with players you may know and who to follow. All that has sort of been consolidated on the right side and then some of the bigger updates that you normally saw are on the left along with a thumbs up button and a comments button on the far left as you can see. So that's the update to the what's new section. And there you have it. Those are some of the top features from version 4.00. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit that thumbs up button and leave me your comments down below what you think. Thank you as always for watching and I will catch you in the next one.